Aries, I'm Christy, you're watching Tiny Turtle Tarot and this is your reading for the week ahead. As always, if anything I say resonates or you feel it will resonate in the future, please let me know by liking and subscribing. Let's get on with your reading. What's happening for the beautiful Aries this week? And the lovers card two mages and the justice underneath okay and the fool card another major okay five of swords ruined the major spree we were on but it's okay uh two of pentacles and three of pentacles so just to talk you through what's here then i'll clarify it strength card is all about obviously strength this week you're going to be feeling very independent firstly i just got that word pop into my head you're going to be feeling very independent self-assured strong on your own and i feel very much it's funny that i said on your own like because i already said independent but i really feel like there's a sense of you being completely full on your own then you've got the lover's card lover's card just to contradict that, Lovers is about, uh, some people see the Lovers card as the choice card. So you could have a choice come in. But I personally see it as like a, um, a union of two people. So you could already be in a relationship, but this week there's something very prominent about love for you. Even if you're single, there's something happening with you and another soul. <laughs> you and another soul are uh, uniting, reuniting, coming together. Um, the full card... There's also a new journey starting this week. So some of you I'm getting that you're studying something new. Whether it be like formally or whether it just be you going to a library or looking something up on Google. There's something you're researching quite heavily this week. Five of Swords, unnecessary conflict. Um, it's not much more to talk about the Five of Swords apart from just conflict that doesn't need to be happening. It's usually within your mind. Um, very real, but in your mind. Two of Pentacles, juggling. Um... Two of Pentacles is multitasking sometimes, but it's also just, uh, I feel like there's two different, two different focuses for you this week, um, whether it be you learning something new, but also trying to further yourself in your career, um, whatever it is, it's like you're doing two things at once, um, multitasking, I don't know why I'm repeating myself, Three of Pentacles, you're doing something very well. There's something where people, I don't know why I'm getting people kind of going, ooh, like people are very in awe of something you're creating or something you're doing very, very good. Clarify the strength card for Aries. King of Pentacles, you are your own sugar daddy. <laughs> um you need no one i really like this uh th this week there's something where you are free to spoil yourself uh, you have some type of like re like tax refund or something i don't know and um, there's something coming in where you're like oh all right i can i can splurge a little bit there's something where you are make sure you do make sure you look after yourself even if it's just buying yourself one thing one little tiny thing um big or small Make sure you aren't saving all your money for a rainy day. The lover's card, I haven't clarified, but I was about to. Page of Wands. Some of you, this for a lot of you, is someone new. There's someone you're going to travel and see. Or while you're traveling, they'll pop up. You're going to kind of... Page of Cups. Page of Wands. Knight of Cups. This is someone coming towards you in love with the Knight of Cups. Page of Cups, this is a surprise, you're not expecting it. I feel like this is coinciding with the Fool card that came up. Like, it's a new journey for you. The Artist. Make sure that you remember you're in control. So whatever this new journey is you're setting out on, whether it be a new relationship, whether it be a new career, where you're going to meet someone while you're traveling. Because I'm getting travel, I'm getting a relationship. I'm getting you're in control of your life. You are the one with the paintbrush. You are the artist. You are deciding and making the decisions, nobody else. Even if 
it seems as if someone else is calling the shots you are the one that is accepting it and you can change and you can you are free to go where you want to go or to not go where you want where you don't want to go um with the full card make sure you do what you want even if it scares you even if it's different to the current track you're on do what you want to do and not what is comfortable clarify the five of swords seven of swords oh that's a lot of cards and death and eight of wands five of swords is unnecessary conflict so it's nice that it's clarified by death because it's like an ending it's a rebirth there's something new your thoughts are going to be repurposed to useful things instead of just stressing you out and creating a lot of wasted energy wasted time because you've been stuck in loops of spirals of thinking and thinking and thinking negative thoughts or worst case scenarios with the death card it's almost as if you're going to have an epiphany of there's other things i'd rather be thinking about and whenever my brain starts to turn down this negative path i'm going to replace the negative thoughts with positive ones um it's very hard to turn your brain off but it's not so hard to just replace the thought with something better so that's what i'm feeling is here with the seven of swords and the eight of wands i'm really getting seven of swords nobody really knows what you're up to um they they could think they know it they know a little bit of it they know kind of what you're up to but they don't actually know your full intent they don't know where you're going and this is good seven of swords it's just like people might think a little of you i'm getting for some reason they're not seeing the full picture don't waste your time trying to communicate eight of wands is all about communication i'm not saying don't communicate try say your piece if you feel called but if they do not understand and you've said it twice don't stick around any longer just get on with it notice she's on the horse so it's just like get on the horse and go and then they'll understand when they see it in action when they see what you're up to don't waste time trying to explain what it is you're going to do next just do it um this eight of wands not only is it communication but it's fast action very fast things are already in motion there if there's anything you've been manifesting or working on it's already on its way like if you wanted a new car a new house or a new home it's already the plans have been it's how do i put it plan, not that the plans my words have gone the universe has already set it in motion and it's on its way to you is what i'm trying to say even if it doesn't look like it it is clarify the two of pentacles ace of wands the high priestess and the star Okay, the star is wish fulfillment, hopes, dreams come true. The high priestess is your intuition. And there's something here where you intuitively can feel you're going to have a lot on your plate if you keep carrying these two pentacles because you're juggling these pentacles, but there's a third thing coming in. And the funny thing is, I didn't even realise, three of pentacles. There's a third thing. You are currently multitasking maybe one of these commitments is helping someone else you're looking after someone else's kids you're looking after um i don't know what it is but there's a commitment you have but you also have a commitment to your own dreams and you're juggling these two things and then you've got another spark you've got a spark coming in and you're realizing oh my hands are already full i've got two hands and both of them are busy but there's something new coming in how am i going to integrate it into my world so i'm going to clarify see how that's going to work because i feel like you're about to be very busy you might have to prioritize six of wands victory victory you've got lots of people clapping for you with the six of wands which is funny because with the three of pentacles i think i said to you people are kind of going oh like they're in awe of something you're doing or creating and with the six of wands that kind of just makes that more solidified to me that people are very much um really watching what you're doing very very um admiring energy clarify the three of pentacles th four of wands queen of wands so with the three of pentacles you are going to successfully do what you're setting out to do basically but if you're carrying and juggling two different responsibilities and one of them's already draining you make sure you prioritize the right things next because you are going to be overwhelmed and if you can somehow simplify your life and make your life easier for yourself you are going to be very grateful and a lot more happy queen of wands very humorous very um 
very spark, like, I was going to say sparkly, random, but you have your spark by the end of the week. And the Ace of Wands here, your spark, like, being relit, might have something to do with replacing one of your responsibilities with something that actually lights a fire within, rather than doing something just because it is, um, I don't know, I feel like there's a responsibility you have. And it's something you've done for a very long time. However, it isn't for you. And there's someone that can do it better than you. And you know that it's time to let go of it. Once you do, it then makes room for that third opportunity. And I feel like you could do all three of these things. But I just think you would do them better if it was two things. If that makes sense. You also have four of wands. Four of wands is like a happy next step. So if this is love, if this is relationships, you're moving to the next phase. Um, you could do like getting engaged, getting married, moving in together, buying a home together. There's something where you're moving to the next phase very nicely because you also have Ten of Cups. So everything in love for you, it's everything's happening as it should, everything's going in order. But it just seems a little bit like, um, I'm getting like this week is more focused on you, even though there's love here, because you had the lovers and you had the Knight of Cups and you've got someone coming towards you. Even if you do have someone kind of approaching you and flirting with you and charming you in a way or trying to you're still focused on yourself you're still like your priority is you which i really like because it's like you first somebody coming into your life second and you are just in this energy of come correctly or don't even come at all don't even come near me with that high priestess i like it there's a very powerful energy of you knowing your worth and maybe you haven't in the past for me to be pointing that out I'm going to wrap your reading up here. Thank you so much for watching. If anything I said resonated or you feel it well, please let me know by liking and subscribing. And I'll see you next Tuesday for Tiny Tales Harry Tuesdays.